بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hi guys, welcome to another knowledge sharing video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can restore Siemens Returnal S7400 CPU or memory card of CPU without using Semantic Manager or Engineering Station of PCS7. Sometimes you got the CPU Returnancy Loss or PLC Returnancy Loss message in System Alarm List of PCS7 and you observe that one of Returnal CPU in stop mode due to some fault. You try to run it again by using run and stop switch of CPU or trying to switch off and on power supply to bring it in run mode but fail. Due to some limitations or due to some limited skills, you are unable to use Matic Manager or Engineering Station of PCS7 to solve this problem. But sometimes it is compulsory to restore the returnant CPU. Here I have SM400 CPU station for explanation. In this station, there are two sets of S7400 racks with S7417 CPUs. Both are returnant CPUs. First CPU is rack 0 and second is rack 1. Master LED of rack 0 is on which indicates active CPU. Rack 1 master LED is off so it is hot standby. Do not confuse with the word master. They are not installed in master slave configuration. They are returnant CPUs with same program and with equal authority. It means if due to some fault rack 0 CPU go offline then rack 1 CPU immediately take control of the system. Rack 1 CPU remain master even rack 0 CPU become normal. Now control will only shift back to rack 0 if rack 1 become unavailable due to some fault. In ideal condition all LEDs of both racks are green and TXT and RXT LEDs remain flashing which shows healthy communication. Sometimes there will be external fault in CPU module and double 4 3-5 extended module. This module is used for communication between CPU and input output cards. This external fault could be due to some fault in input or output signal so it can be ignored. In PLC redundancy loss condition you will find red F LED in on state. As you can see here both CPUs red F LED are on and rack 1 CPU is stop but CPU switch in run position. It could be due to loss of program stored in SRAM or memory card of CPU. To handle this type of situation, I am going to show you simple method which can restore redundant CPU easily. Before applying this method, make sure that both S7400 CPUs should install and configure as redundant methodology. There should be no other fault LED on in both CPUs, only external fault can be ignored. Active or master CPU should be healthy and it is managing control system properly. Fiber optical patch cable link 1 OK and link 2 OK LED should be green. Then you can restore returnant CPU or memory card of CPU easily. For this purpose, first change CPU switch position from run to stop. Then switch off power supply. Then remove backup batteries. After this, if you suspect that memory card or SRAM need replacement, then you can replace it with new one. Wait for 20 to 30 seconds. After this, repeat steps backward. First, insert batteries, then switch on power supply, then switch CPU to run mode. You can see run LED is flashing now, which shows that program is going to copy from rack 0 CPU to rack 1 CPU. It will take some time, depends upon the size of program. After complete transfer of program, green LED will become on and stop LED will be switched off, which shows that redundant CPU is synchronized and ready for work. Okay guys, hope you like this video and it will be useful for you. Please share this video to your friends, may it will be helpful for them. See you in next knowledge sharing video, till that time, Ma salama, Allah hafiz, bye bye.